There are 16 of them at different stages of pregnancy and eight children comprising of five males and three females. They were rescued recently by men of the Rapid Response Squad of the Nigeria Police, Abia State Command, at an alleged baby factory in Aba, run by one 29-year-old Mrs. Odinechi Okoro from Ihechiowa in our Rajukuluko government area of Abia State and one 33-year-old Mrs. Ekeneo Kezie from Arondi Zuogo in that local government area of Imo State. The two, alongside their suspected male accomplices, Ekeneo Kore, also from Arondi Zuogo, are now cooling off with the police pending the conclusion of the investigation. Reacting earlier to the ugly development, Mrs. Priscilla Oti, the wife of the governor of Abia State, said such was not acceptable. We vehemently condemn the appalling existence of baby factories in Abia State, where young girls are exploited, forced into pregnancy, and have their babies forcefully taken from them for profit. This barbaric practice endangers the life and well-being of these girls, exposing them to serious health hazards, including HIV and STDs. For the victims of these baby factories, we shall enroll them in skill acquisition programs and empower them upon graduation. We will also ensure their welfare during pregnancy. To those involved in this wicked business, we issue a stern warning. Your actions will not be tolerated. We will not rest until justice is served and every perpetrator is brought to book. During a visit to the victims at the instance of the wife of the governor, Mrs. Adeze Metu, the wife of the deputy governor reiterated the sentiment, emphasizing that the culprits must be brought to book. Means of skill acquisition so that they can be useful to the society. So that's her plans for them for now. Governor Alex Oti will see to it because this is not the first time something like this is happening. This is actually the second. And um, these particular suspects, the courts, they are going to have it hard and difficult so that um, whoever is thinking of doing something like this again will think twice before executing such. The victims largely hail from Abia, Imo, Ebony, and Akwaibom states. In a visible sense of remorse, one of them who hails from Ebony state expressed regrets while promising to turn a new leaf. I pray that God should forgive me and make a new way for me as I'm leaving this place. I should live as a changed person and she opened my way for me and sent my destiny in past to locate me. I was doing work last year in November, so I was duped of 76,000 my boss money in my phone. So the man asked me to return the money for the end of this year. So there was no way for me to gather the money and I, my intent of doing that work was to gather money and learn hairdressing work. So my plan failed. Then I discovered I was pregnant and someone told me was going to help me that is to exchange the baby for money. My plea for her is to help us. We all have made mistakes and we have realized our mistakes. If only we can be help, we have decided to change and we pray that God should touch her mind also to help us and when she help us, we'll use this one as our lesson. We have learned our good lesson now. With the promise of rehabilitating and setting up a skills acquisition center for them, they are in the meantime being taken care of at the Amateur General Hospital and the State Ministry for Women Affairs. In Omwahia, Emmanuel Mwazwe,